uh, the whole initiative of the Young Epilepsy Section started at a networking event. So we met here with P our peers and um, then we continued holding those connections and continued working together and, and it made the conferences such a better experience for us and we decided to share this with all the other people at the conference so that's how actually the Young Epilepsy Section started. Being here at the networking event um, is a real privilege. It's great to see all the Young Epilepsy Section socialising. The section was set up so that we could have greater involvement of the younger generation, those that have come through to the future, gain enthusiasm about epileptology, meet with peers and networking events particularly is something that we really wanted to encourage and we hope to grow them further in the future. During our meeting in London, we noticed the need to increase the collaboration between basic scientists and clinicians. And to this end, we launched the Research and Translational Task Force, and our group is working uh, into many activities. Today, we are uh, launching our brainstorming session, and the aim is to bring together basic science and clinicians in a topic-oriented session. Well, I'm currently chairing the Young Epilepsy Section. That means that I'm trying to organize people and make sure that the best people are in the best positions and that they're most enthusiastic to actually offer um, the services and activities within the Young Epilepsy Section. Uh, main aims are to uh, improve the representation of young people within the ILAE and also um, to attract more people to epileptology. My name is Anne Mechtens. I'm from Belgium, from the University Hospital Ghent. Uh, it's the first time I'm joining this, this YES meeting. Um, but I'm very enthusiastic about it, uh, meeting all kinds of young neurologists and doing something to make epilepsy more aware, so I'm very excited. I'm very delighted that the S group uh, organizes a run and I'm really looking forward to it. Our ideas and aims are to support the development of the new curriculum uh, together with the Epilepsy Education Task Force of the ILAE. Secondly, we want to set up a peer-to-peer -peer mentoring program which will uh, complement the existing mentor-mentee uh, and leadership programs of the ILAE. The idea is that many young clinicians and basic scientists need more support in their career development and wish for a long-term relationship. So the idea idea is that the more experienced members of YES um, support and match with uh, some of the younger clinicians and basic scientists and help them. Hi everybody, my name is Carolina Neurai. I'm from Austria and I've been elected to represent YES members in Europe. And I've also been elected to be the head of the conference task force. As our aim for this task force is to increase involvement of YES members within ILAE conferences because we, have, we believe that there's two aims to that. One is an educational and scientific one and the other one is a social one. Actually to meet and interact with each other. Um, this could be you know, to talk about the, your projects, to find partners for future pro projects or actually just exchange information about what has been going well, what could, could be improved, just to get feedback about where you stand in your research project. So in order to do that, we believe that YES could be this platform and we want to in increase social events, networking events, um, debating clubs and stuff like this in order to, to you know, just have fun and talk to each other because that's, I think, where the future lies. So get active and join us because Austria says YES. Netherlands says YES. Turkey says YES. USA said YES. Kyrgyzstan says YES. Germany says yes. Belgium says yes. Spain says yes. Sweden says yes. Switzerland says yes. Finland says yes. Malta says yes. Denmark says yes. United States says yes. Slovenia says yes. United Kingdom says yes. And the Netherlands says yes. Yeah.